Hello, welcome to the RouletteBot Plus Mode Selection and Advanced User Interface Video Tutorial. I'm going to guide you through default and advanced techniques on the Mode Selection window. I will explain all the basic rules of the Roulette game and all the betting patterns the RouletteBot Plus offers. And also, we'll be looking deeper into RouletteBot Plus Advanced User Interface. Let's start from the Mode Selection window. This window will appear after opening the RouletteBot Plus application and after choosing one of the casinos from the list. For the purposes of demonstration, I'll be working with Casino Trope. But note that this information applies to all of the casinos that we support. We'll start by choosing our preferred currency. You can choose whatever currency you want based upon your location. However, it is recommended to choose from either US dollars, euros or pounds. I'm going to choose dollars and make sure to choose this currency in the casino and in the RouletteBot Plus application too. Here you can choose whether to play in default mode or in advanced mode. Both modes are actually on autopilot as the bot plays totally automatically. In default mode, all the betting types and betting patterns are pre-configured by our team of experts. And in the advanced mode, you can configure all the betting patterns on your own. But first, you should understand all the basic rules of roulette. So what is roulette? Roulette is a popular gambling game invented in France in the middle of the 18th century. The word roulette means a small wheel. The wheel segments are numbered from 0 to 36, and while the wheel spins, a small ball is dropped in and bounces around between the segments. The players need to guess where the ball will stop. There are 18 black segments on the wheel and 18 red segments. There is also the number 0, which is usually green in colour. Bets on the roulette table are divided between inside and outside bets. The most common are inside bets, but there is a lower chance of winning them. And the outside bets are more moderately played, yet the chances of winning them are higher. Betting options on the inside are... Straight bet. Bet on a single number. The chances of winning are 1 in 35, and profit is 1 to 35 for every dollar, pound or euro. Split bet. The split bet is on two adjacent numbers, vertical or horizontal, and the chances of winning are 1 in 17. Street bet. The street bet is on three numbers in a row, and the chances of winning are 1 in 11. The corner bet. The corner bet on four adjacent numbers. The chances of winning are 1 in 8. Line bet. The line bet is on six numbers over two rows. The chances of winning are 1 in 5. Betting options on the outside are Bet 1 to 18 or 19 to 36 A bet on one of the first low 18 numbers or on one of the latter high 18 numbers give chances of winning 1 to 1. Bet on the red or on the black Betting on all the red numbers or all numbers on black with chances of winning 1 in 1. Double betting odds. Odd or even bets on all even number or all odd numbers, where chances of winning are 1 to 1. Dozen bet. A dozen bet on 12 numbers in each roulette column, where the chances of winning are 1 in 2. A row bet. A bet on 12 numbers in each of the roulette rows, where chances of winning are 1 in 2. That's it. Now you know how the roulette works, but in order to gain a systematic advantage over time, rather than risk a total loss of your money, you must know how to develop profits in the long term and to understand the strategy of the game. Now we'll go back to the selection mode and the advanced menu and see how it is made up. Here you can see the five outside betting options that Roulette Bot Plus bets on. First, second, third row, the first, second, third dozen, even odd, 1 to 18 and 19 to 36, and red or black. You can turn them off or on if you do not intend to bet on one of them. When you click on each betting line, another window opens where you can change the parameters of the threshold and the wager sequence. The threshold is a limiter tool that helps you to strategically control your roulette bets and increase your winning. 
With the betting threshold tool, you can decide how many times you want the bot to wait before it places on the opposite bet type. For example, let's change the threshold parameters to 3. So, if the last three numbers were black, RouletteBot Plus will start betting on red. If it doesn't win that spin, it will start increasing the bets. The Threshold Strategic Tool is based upon occasions, which means by observing the outcomes of the game, RouletteBot Plus is able to place bets whenever statistical infrequencies occur. Another option is to modify the customized wager sequence. This allows you to create your own betting patterns. You can customize each bet that will be placed by RouletteBot Plus. For example, if the starting bet is $2, I might want to increase the bet in case of a loss. Such modifications of course add risk, however they will also increase your profits. In this way you can fully customize betting sequences and finely tune your game. Once you're done with mode selection and the adjustments of the betting types and the wager sequences, all you need to do is click on Start Game. All the options that we've covered in this video can be modified at any time during the 23 minute session, since you can always click on the pause button and then go to options and edit your wagering sequences and betting type. Bear in mind, you could customize the wager sequence from the beginning, or you could start playing a default mode to get a better understanding and a feel of the wager sequences, and then adjust it according to your needs later on during the session. Now let's take a look at the RouletteBot Plus interface. Here, there's the action history that reflects each and every bet that RouletteBot Plus played for you. Underneath, you will see the current action section. You can see here if the bot is betting, spinning or analysing. Under that, you will see the result history, which is basically the history of results taken from the casino itself. Under that, we can see the balance graph that basically indicates how much money you have. This graph changes as we progress in play. Next to that, you will see the timer. Every single session is 23 minutes long. You have a pause button, which isn't used very often, and you have the stop button, which should be completely avoided. If you stop a session instead of pausing it, then you will not be able to resume it for the next hour. Now let's have a deeper look into the graphs. We have here a set of five graphs. Balance, scores, win lost, stats and bets per sequence. Balance, as we said earlier, is an indicator to see where we started and where we are right now. The next tab is bets type scores. This shows you which betting type was most profitable, which betting type made us how much money, and according to that, you can analyse which betting types you prefer to continue with. Next to it, the most important graph, the win-loss graph. Basically, every session starts at zero, and then with time, you can see your profit and loss balance with the help of the spinning bar at the bottom. The next graph is stats. That shows you the statistics of your current session. And the last graph is the bets per sequence graph, which basically tells us how much money we have to bet in order to win the sequence. Whatever you choose to do, you can always click here for our live online support. You can chat with us at any time and get personal advice regarding your budget control, deposit and withdrawal methods, as well as tips and tricks from the pros. Good luck!